Good morning YouTube friends, I'm Jackie and this is Gone Potty Gardening. Today I'm going to have a go at sowing the carrots and I'm going to start it in my upcycled bookcase. There's nothing quite like growing your own carrots. I remember years ago, um, I wasn't actually buying carrots but I was going somewhere to buy a big sack of potatoes and um, anyway I got the potatoes and uh, what it was, it was a man that supplied shops with veg and uh, he had all the carrots laid out and onions and that. And when I took some of the carrots home, I, I couldn't believe it. I thought, there's so much more flavour and juice in a, in a carrot that's homegrown than there is if you buy them from the shop. So if you can grow them, it's worth, you know, having a good go at it. I mean, some people can't manage to grow them. Um, I did grow grow some last year in some of the raised beds and they turned out fine so uh trying a few different varieties of course there are different varieties that um are ready to pick at different times of the year so i've tried to pick some that are early um early and you know later in the season so hopefully we'll have some all through the year but, uh... so this is the um bookcase that i've recycled um, and as you can see, this is not great compost. This is just from what I've put in there, what I've found laying around. So there's bits and pieces look in it. So what I'm going to do is go through it and take any stones and stuff like that out. And I'm going to top it up with um, peat moss. Um, peat moss look, is good for improving soil condition, improving soil structure, healthier plants and lawns and, and the seed beds. But I'm not actually going to plant the carrots in that. I'm just topping up the beds with that. So I've got to clear out the stones from these bed, these uh, little slots and um, I'll be back with you when I've done that. So there we are. I've filled the beds and uh, it's very fine and carrots do like it very fine but I won't be actually using this to plant in. I basically use that to fill up the bed. Um, there was some pretty horrible soil in there so I've mixed it all in took any lumps and bumps out of it and um, yeah so I'm going to get on with the uh, mixing the compost and sand together now so I've got this bucket I'm going to tip this bit of um, compost in here this is a bit I've got left looks nice, nice and light as well so that'd be probably quite good and get the rest of it out that's it that'd be good and you can use builder's sand so I'm just gonna add some bits in there and mix it together the dogs won't leave this side on it and there more than that give it a good old mix up right underneath still needs more let's say that would probably do it so I've mixed it all in. Get it right from the bottom. No, I still say a little bit more. Now let's call that it. Let's get it good mixed in there. So I'd say that was pretty good, you know, that looks a bit like it's got a little bit of flour or something in it, doesn't it? But that's what I think would be a good mix for it. Definitely. Now this little bookcase that I've got there, I'd say that's probably about a foot and a half deep. Now if you're growing carrots, you have to be careful of the carrot fly. 
Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to risk it at that. But, you know, it's quite good to, if you can keep your bed up about two foot off the ground. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you won't get the dreaded carrot fly. Now, <clears throat> these are the carrots I'm going to be sowing in here. Solar red. So uh, quite a few seeds there, isn't there? What I want to try and do is um, get hold of the seeds. I know they're tiny, but uh, this is my method. I'll show you what I'm going to do. So now that I've uh, mixed all that compost with the uh, sand, what I've done is I've given all this a really good soaking with water. So now I can get the, the hole prepared to plant the carrots. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll get on now with planting, uh, making the planting holes. So, I'm going to do some all the way along. You see how water in it makes it easier and it stays like that. Whereas if it's not, it all caves in. <laughs> so, Go right along with these. What I'm trying not to do is try not to have to thin them out. So I reckon I could get three rows in here. So let's go for it. These sticks are well handy. Just go down to your local hardware store and pick one up. That they're replacement handles for spades and things really but really ideal for this and this will be the last row so there, so we've got um, one, two Three, four, five, six, three sixes are 18 holes in one bit. So, uh, yeah, just get a few carrots in there, won't I? So I'll get on with filling the holes. So I'm just going to go right along basically and put about three seeds in each one and it makes it easier to see because you've put the bit with the sand in and cover it gently. This is the easiest part isn't it? The other part is um, getting it all prepared. So I've actually um, finished this bed now and I've put this cover on and slid it over and put some little labels at the side there so that I know what they are. So uh, here are, fingers crossed, let's hope we get some carrots. Um, <coughs> in a bit after lunch, I'm going to, after dinner, in a bit I'm going to do this bed that's next to it with a different variety. Um, but as you can see there's a lot of fine, uh, heavy wood, wood chip and stuff in there so I shall use the same method and, you know, put the compost in the holes. That saves you buying loads of compost just to fill a whole bed to grow carrots. You just use a stick. Anyway, thought I'd show you. Easy to do. Um, like I say, carrots do like very fine soil. Um, and, you know, I've read several times that they like a bit of... Uh, bit of a sandy easy draining soil too so that's the reason for me doing it the way that I've done it and uh, hopefully we'll get some nice carrots we'll have to see anyway that's it for now folks and take care everyone and enjoy your garden or enjoy whatever you're doing take care
Bye for now. Why not come and join me on Facebook or Instagram? The link is in the description.